yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the Funny, Funny One Show. It is a stand-up comedy showcase. Get it out now, ladies. Get all that goofiness out right now. Go ahead. Get it out. Giggles in, giggles in abundance. <laughs> you brought all these people. These are all your coworkers. Welcome to the show. First time comedy show? No? No? Yes? First time here ever? Well, welcome to the Hop Yard. Give a big round of applause for your bartender, Rob. That's right. He's got the best Spotify playlist in all of Wilmington downtown bars. I believe it. Uh, we have one extra row of seats up here if anyone wants to brave sitting up front uh, right here. <laughs> you can block these ladies and give a barrier because they got a lot of energy and we can really appreciate someone kind of breaking that off right here. <laughs> no, we appreciate you guys coming out so much. Thank you so much. Give yourselves a round of applause one more time. You can give me a round of applause. I'm your host, Steve Marcinowski. Yes. And uh, we have a very special show for you tonight. We have uh, eight comedians. Some of them uh, have participated in the Daredevil Improv, Daredevil Improv stand-up class, which I taught. So I'm very excited. It's going to be their first time performing ever. And then some of them, we've packed in some low-key heavy hitters just to kind of just give you the best of the best of all of Wilmington improv and stand-up talent. So that sounds exciting, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is the Hop Yard. We do a monthly show here with Daredevil. Uh, if you've never been here, it's your first time. Uh, if you guys were, we were in for a great show, and so settle in. If you haven't gone to the bathroom and you need to at some point during the show, I just have to say this: you gotta leave. You actually have to leave the, the you have to leave the space. You have to. There's two ways you can do it. You can get up and cross the the performer. You can look them dead in the eye and you know maybe get talked about, or you can just quietly walk away, walk by the performer, right outside the door, through the hallway, down the hallway. I think you need a key that's big and red. Uh, and so we'll all know exactly what you're doing if you're carrying that big red chain across the floor. But that's where the bathrooms are. Uh, there's also an emergency exit out the back. There's a back patio. If you feel like you might want to get a little talky, go head out in the back, because we need to keep our table talk to a minimum for the show. Is that cool? Those are the rules. Have a good drink. Who wants a drink? Get them from Rob. Yeah, yeah. Get yourselves some drinks. Settle in. We're having a comedy show. Yes. I feel it now. What a day. It is uh, finally cold enough for sweaters. Aren't we excited about this cold weather? That's a mixed response. We have a lot of beachgoers. I know there's very many of you who are bummed about the weather, but I love it. This is my favorite time of the year. I like having fires. I like Christmas time. It's coming. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was always weird for me growing up. Like, even now as an adult male, like my parents, I've always been the youngest of my family. And whenever we're going to like a family event, you know, like Thanksgiving, and I'm like, what can I bring? What can I do? Can I make anything? What can I do? And they're always like, yeah, Steve, you can bring ice. <laughs> that's the type of <laughs> that's the type of son I am. They're like, that's the most responsibility they're gonna give me is stop on the way for a bag of ice, maybe some solo cups so we don't have to do the dishes. <laughs> I know you're gonna pack lying around the house, Steve. You're right, I do, from the last cake party. Still doing it. <laughs> um well, quarantine was pretty hard, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I, I had a tough time. I remember during quarantine, it was like right in the middle of it, I had to eat dirty rice. Dirty rice was the only thing I had left in the house to eat was the rice. I used to dry my cell phone out when I dropped it in the toilet. <laughs> it's dirty rice. Still good. <laughs> I'm used to that though. I'm used to eating like terrible food. I've, I've been poor my whole life basically. I'm from a big family. I'm the youngest of six, so I grew up Big family poor. Like when you're big family poor, you're like, Dad, what's for dinner? And he's like, breakfast. <laughs> I was talking to a girl about that. She's like, oh, I, 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 had, I had breakfast for dinner too all the time. I was poor. Did you ever have a, a hot dog omelet? 
And I said, ew, that's gross. You are really poor. A hot dog omelet? Yeah. Her mom was like, it was a hot dog frittad. I'm like, I don't care what you call it. I don't care if you sprinkle that with some greens on there. It's still mixing hot dogs and eggs, and that's nasty. <laughs> Man, we have, a, we have a wonderful show lined up for you tonight, and um, I'm just gonna get right into it. Are you guys ready to just, like, start having some fun with your comics tonight? We have something to get into. 